Hello, I'm Abby Hookie. I'm currently studying my Masters by Research at Royal Agricultural University. My background is I'm an NHS Obesity and Diabetes Research Dietitian um, in Bristol and I currently work two days a week for the NHS. The research I'm doing is looking at the most effective combination of soaking and steaming methods to reduce the water-soluble carbohydrate or the sugar content to hay in order to produce suitable fodder for horses or ponies who are at risk of laminitis or equine metabolic syndrome. As a dietitian and working in obesity and diabetes, there's a lot of interest in carbohydrate manipulation in the diet. Um, and as a rider and a keen passion for horses, I was aware of the impact of the carbohydrate content of hay and the impact it can have on um, horses who are suffering from laminitis. Obesity is becoming a growing problem in horses. Um, it's becoming much more prevalent than it, than it was. Um, and it can also lead to health problems. Hay does have a lot of sugar, but it varies between different grass species. Hay is made up of a variety of grass species. So what we're looking at doing is testing some of these grass species for their water soluble or the sugar content of the hay and how best way we can reduce the sugar content of hay to help reduce um, numbers of obese horses in the UK. Some people are soaking their hay, which can leach and get rid of some of the sugar content, but it also gets rid of some of the protein and vital micronutrients, whereas steaming hay actually helps preserve and keep the nutrition content of hay, but there are some carbohydrate and sugar losses from the hay. So I'm looking at four regions of the UK, so north, west, south, west um, and east, um, and I'm looking at perennial ryegrass, Italian ryegrass, Timothy hay and meadow hay, and different types of cut. Um, and then I'll look at three different methods, so a, a soak for 30 minutes, a steam for 60 minutes, um, a single steam and then a double steam. And then I'm comparing this to the dry hay as well, so we can look at how much carbohydrate is lost post-steaming. The hope is that I can build a table for vets and horse owners to use in order to predict um, post-steaming carbohydrate losses of the hay. So practically we know we can't always test a new batch of hay, it's not, we don't really have the time for that. So hopefully a table will have a very, very species of hay um, and then different types of soaking and steaming methods and then we can predict the carbohydrate losses after.